Number eight, a 2.5 kilogram steel gasoline can holds 20 liters of gasoline when full. What is the average density of the full gas can, taking into account the volume occupied by steel as well as by the gasoline? All right, so here's our container. The steel container weighs, without the gasoline in it, 2.5 kilograms. And we know we can place 20 liters of gasoline into the can. All right. We also need the average, excuse me, the uh, densities of each steel and gas in order to perform this problem. And you'll see why in a second. So let's start with the idea of average density. Or let's just start with the idea of density in general. Right. Density is simply equal to the mass divided by the volume. Right. The mass of an object divided by that object's volume. So that being said, if I have an object that has composite parts to it, meaning that has more than one part to it, like even like the human body, right? We have a whole bunch of different densities, a whole bunch of structures that we have to take into account. So basically what we can say about the human body, if we were talking about what's the density of the human body overall, we can say that it's the mass, the total mass, I should say, of the body divided by the total volume of the body, okay? Now this should be fairly straightforward, okay? Once I, uh, once I understand that the, the overall volume, excuse me, the overall density of an object, aka the average density of the object, is basically saying that it's, we're, gonna, we're gonna take the total mass and divide it by the total volume, I can now understand what does it mean by total mass? Like what, what are the masses that I'm talking about in this problem? Well, we're talking about the mass of the gasoline can itself, which is made out of steel, so the mass of the steel Plus, I can take, uh, plus I'm going to add to that the mass of the gas. Right? Once, once the gas gets added to it, this whole object has a different mass, obviously, than, than it being empty. Then what I can do is divide it now by the volume of the steel, okay, plus the volume of the gas. So what I realize that I don't know in this equation right here, I don't know the mass of the gasoline and I don't know the volume of the steel. Those are the two things I don't know, right? I do know the mass of the steel they told us, and I do know the volume of the gasoline they told us. So now my objective is to, how do I find the volume, let's say of, how do I find the volume of steel, okay, if I know the mass of the steel? All right, it's, we're talking about going from masses to volumes, I need the density. That's the whole point, why you need the density. So all we can now simply do, I'm going to do a calculation over here on the side, all right? So now we can do the, the density, okay? The density of steel is equal to the mass of the steel divided by the volume of the steel. So to find the volume of the steel, right, we just simply cross multiply basically. So the volume of the steel will equal the mass of the steel all divided by the density of the steel, okay? So notice I can take this now and just throw it on into my equation here. Okay, because, oop, sorry, because I do know, I don't know how that happened again, but you get the idea, because I, I do know the mass of the steel and the density, all right? Now, similarly, I can do the same I, uh, idea for the, the density of the gas, right? The density of the gas is going to be the mass of the gasoline divided by the volume of the gasoline. In this particular case, I'm after the mass because they told me the volume. So solving for the mass of the gasoline, it's simply going to be then the uh, density of the gasoline multiplied by the volume of the gasoline. So now I can take this and substitute this on into my equation right here, okay? And lo and behold, the overall equation now for the average density becomes the mass of the steel plus now the density of the gas multiplied by the volume of the gas all divided now by the mass of the steel divided by the density of the steel plus then the volume of the gas. And that's it. Now we have enough we need. We know everything in this equation to calculate, okay? So the overall density is the mass of the steel. Where was that? So it was 2.5, right? Plus then the density of the gas, which is 600, 680. All right. Ooh, one thing I think I need to do. One thing, guys. One thing, one thing, one thing. So times then the the volume of the gas. The issue here, yeah, be careful. I'm just looking at the units. One extra thing, okay? Everything is good. But what are the units that I have for my density of gas? Well, it's kilogram per cubic meter. And what do I have as the units for the volume? 
right? It's in liter. So these don't match. Liter and cubic meter are definitely not the same. Okay, so that we have to take into account. All right. So now what I'm going to do is take this value. It's just easier. I'm going to take this value and convert it into cubic meters. And then I can use that and plug it on into my formula. All right. So there's one extra step. You always got to be careful with the units. So let's do that conversion up here. So we got 20 liters. I'm going to first take this and convert it into uh, milliliters. Uh, 1,000 milliliters for every liter. The reason why I do that is because I know that one milliliter is equivalent to one cubic centimeter. So I get rid of the milliliters and the liters. Now I'm in cubic centimeters and now I can relate my cubic centimeter to meter. Okay. So now centimeter on the bottom, not cubic, but just centimeter on the bottom, meter on the top. We know that there's 100 centimeters in one meter. But notice this centimeter value is cubed. So what I have to do is cube this entire thing so that the centimeters will appropriately cancel. And look what we're left with, cubic meters. That's exactly what we wanted, right? So basically, uh, right, so this is going to be if we were to, you know, just plug this into the calculator now, it would be 20 times 1,000 divided now by 100 cubed. And we get a value of 0 .0 0.02, okay? cubic meters. So this is the value for the volume that you must plug in here. Okay. Now we can plug that in because now the units are consistent. Okay. So now what do we got? So we got 0 0.02 all divided now by the mass of the steel, which was in kilograms. So that's fine because my density is also in kilograms. So the this is 2.5 I'm running out of a little space, so I'm going to put the division sign to the side. 2.5 divided by the 7.8 times 10 to the third. So now I'm going to add to that my volume of the gas, right, which is 0 0.02. And now I can just calculate. So now we'll just throw it into the calculator. I'm going to put my answer up there at the top, okay? So we're going to get 2.5 plus 680 times 0 0.02. And then we're going to divide that now by parentheses 2.5 uh, divided by 7.8 times 10 to the third, all right, and then plus 0 0.02. And what do we get? We get about 792, all right, 792 kilogram per cubic meter, okay? These problems are not that difficult. It's just the, it's just the units. You got to be very, very careful about the units. And the answer does make sense, all right? The, the density, the average density should lie somewhere in between these two numbers over here, all right? Uh, which it does, right? So that should, hopefully, uh, that should hopefully make some sense, okay? So guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. Right, please remember to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care.